Today, I'm starting up a fresh new file of Ocarina of Time and asking an AI generator to give me a task to do in the game, which could be something like get a gold skull tour or do a side quest. And I'm gonna do five of these tasks. That's pretty much it. Let's get started. By the way, this was all streamed live on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified when I stream again to maybe be a part of a video. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, now that we are in the game, let me like this and we can go to ChatGBT. So, I was doing some prompts before just to try to see what would really work. I think what I put, I'm not completely sure though, and we might have to refresh it so it actually gives something that I can do. I think I put, give me a simple and funny, because I'm very funny. Let's see what this gives us. I can't read chat right now, by the way, um, but I will be able to in a second. Okay, roll into a cuckoo. This is what I'm talking about, Inko Kiri Forest. Well, I can't do that, but I can roll into a cuckoo. But just delete this part, because this is quite, quite literally impossible. impossible. Current challenge, roll into a cuckoo. Cool, because my channel branding too. Okay, why am I getting rupees? I actually do need 10 rupees. I should have just had a Deku stick and bought the Deku stick, but um, too late for that. So I'm just gonna scrap that idea, because it's kind of stupid anyway. But this is all we need, because we're gonna glitch out of Kokiri Forest, and then head to Kakariko and roll into a chicken. Equip this Deku stick real quick. Once in a while. Okay. Let's get to the back here. Wait, is that like... There we go. Okay, got it that time. Great. So here we are in Zora's River. Now if I run very fast, I may be able to make it to Kakariko before nighttime starts. Oh wait, I, there's a cuckoo right there. That changes this. Um, okay. Well, we can still do the same task. It literally doesn't matter. I can just step up here and then go roll into him. Oh no, but you're blocked off by these rocks. Okay, here's what we can do. Just load this and do the Navi dive again and go back. Oops, did I just mess this up? Hopefully not, hopefully not. I can make this jump to this. No, never mind. I may be bamboo- No, I'm not bamboozled, because you have to get in the water anyway. Wait. Oh, okay, I'm good. I should make an S on serial urinal poopers, actually. Make the ultimate villain. Anyway. No! Bro, no way. Okay, I can swim here, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get back to dry land. Okay. Yeah, lure him over there. This is intended. Lure him over here, you know what I'm saying? Now get out. They know my secrets. I'm so good at this game, oh my gosh. No, he's still there, yes, okay. I have successfully, wait. Okay, I'm literally so bad. Can I please roll into Brow? Okay, that counts. I've successfully rolled into a cuckoo. Wow. That took way longer than it should have. Okay. Let's get the next task. Simple for test. Find a bomb flower. Throw a bomb flower at the rocks and laugh at the results. Dude, I can't do that. Give me another one. Okay. Um. Throwing a rock. Throwing a rock at children, that's something I can do now. Okay, thank you, G. Wait, I can't use this file, I forgot. I should have made a save state so I don't have to watch the cutscenes again. <laughs> I'm naming myself Thank G this time though. Don't worry. So this is throw a rock at children. That's cool. Like, I know Chad GBT is a real one now. Um, current task. Throw throw a rock at the kid. Which kid should I should I throw the rock at? Which which one? Let's throw the rock at Mido because it's the only appropriate target, obviously. I missed. Luckily there are a million rocks scattered around this forest for some reason. I don't feel like like this is like the size of your head. I don't feel like head sized boulders really just like spawn around forests usually. You know what I mean? But Hmm. Okay. Let's line it up. And Throw. Does that count? I think I need to be back a little bit further. I think maybe I should just go for like an easier target. I have an idea. I should throw it at the lady on top of the 
shop because she is higher up which might make her an easier target because I kind of throw up oh that's so close I can definitely do that I can definitely do that now that I know I'm have the right trajectory that that definitely hit her foot I, I don't that that that's blah, 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 blah. great okay that is task two done back to chat GPT okay buddy <laughs> staring at the wall and running into it repeatedly so let's ask how many times should I roll into the wall for maximum hilarity try rolling into the wall five to ten times okay what's the middle of 5 and 10? Um, 7.5? Okay, so since 7.5 rounds to 8, we'll roll into it 8 times. There you go. Roll into the wall 8 times. Okay, let's do that. Which wall should we pick to have the honor of being rolled into 8 times? It said in Kokiri Forest, I think, maybe? It actually said a fence, I think. This looks like an actually perfect target. Let's do this. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, five, eight. There you go. That is eight times rolled into the wall. Time for task. Um, this is task four. Okay. Give me another one. Jumping on the Kokiri kids' heads. Okay, I could do that. Let's do that. Here is my plan here. If I can hypothetically make it to the tip to the top of that roof here i think i can make a jump from yeah i can definitely make this jump onto the top of this house from here jump onto this guy oh come on uh, maybe if i try like rolling off or something oh i have an idea i have an idea of something to do i need to buy a deku stick oh of the moon that I didn't really, exp I didn't really, okay, more, more stick yapping. I never thought I'd be annoyed by a stick yapping to me. I more thought I'd be astounded, but I guess not. Let's go for this stick, and my plan here is to basically do the beginning of a Nobby dive, but instead of falling into the, um, Zora River well thing, I should be able to just fall off onto this guy's head, hopefully. If that doesn't work... It would either be an undershot or, and then the other one's an overshot. So, we might not be able to do this guy jumping on his head, you know what I'm saying? That jump, I definitely can't actually do that. What if I just, oh, I kind of did. Oh, could you backflip? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Oh, come on, it's like the same as um, jumping off, but I could actually project my back foot in a right trajectory to hit the guy's head. Wow, I had science Friday. So if I go here and I move up to here, back flip? Oh, come on, that was way off. But I think that was the right, like, um, spot on the... It's not the wire x-axis, I don't know. It was, like, the right spot to the side. Wait... I think I can do the one on the shop if I can get on top of it. Can I make that? I believe I can, right? Uh-huh. And now, if I just kind of get like a little drop off here, uh-huh, that counts. I definitely jumped on like her back. I think if I backflip, I can do that better, but I think that should count. So let's move on to the fifth and final task. If the fifth task isn't that long, I'll come back and try that again. Yeah, let's go to the last challenge. When it comes to jumping on kids' heads, the science is very specific. I know. Hitting the signs with your sword. How many signs should I hit with my sword? Um, hitting three to five signs. <clears throat> we'll do four signs. So we actually have to go get the sword, so let's do that. Okay, let's equip the sword and cut four signs. Let's do it. Okay, here's sign one. This is especially because Mido's house. You can't cut it. <sighs> okay, let's cut this one. There we go. Let's just dice it up. Yep. Now I'm gonna jump slash it. D wow. Hello? <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's head for sign two. Okay, one, two, and lastly, wow. Three. Okay. 
two more signs. I think there might actually only be four in the entire forest. So this is three. Oh, the signs uh, float on the water. That's actually so cool. That's such a nice detail. You do kind of clip through them, but it's still really cool. I didn't even know they could do that on N64. I think I knew about that from like an obsessive gamer video. I love that guy's videos. Anyway, back to cutting signs. And it goes on top of the fence too. The That's actually complicated physics. Holy crap. There we go. And that one went into the water. That one, like, slid all the way. Wow, that's actually so cool. Okay, anyway, enough marveling at cutting signs. These are our way down again. Okay, that definitely counted. That one million percent counted. Because her hitbox is just too wide. But if I kept going, I would have, like, hit, like, the left side of her head. Okay. That should be everything. We did that in 57 minutes. Technically, like, 30. Because I spent a bunch of time routing out my cuckoo. Um, <clears throat> method, but um, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, remember subscribing is completely free and boosts my motivation a lot to make more videos. Thanks for watching.